welcome to the round table, um, first official round table hosted on Convicted Hearts. You guys, I'm so looking forward to this. Yes, what would it be? You know, of course it's gotta be 15 minutes late if I'm doing it. I'll get it together eventually. But with that said, we're just gonna jump right into it. I have got some special guests and I would like you guys to welcome the lovely Adrian Smiley. Hi everybody. How are you sis? I'm good, Tony. How are you? Pretty good. A little nervous. You know me. You will be great, and you're looking quite lovely tonight, darling. Oh, so are you. Here we go. Let's welcome the lovely Denise Castillo. How are you, Denise? Hi, ladies. Good. How are you guys? I know. I'm feeling the estrogen right now. <laughs> I thought she was going to say, I feel the energy, and then he threw the first. I should say the love. Yeah. <laughs> we have a couple people that might tap in, but I haven't seen them. Um, get back yet but hey andres strange day salvador cultura and they love, they so love. everyone what did you do this last weekend adrian anything exciting what did i do last weekend well you know i live in arizona so yeah. we had snow and freaking rain mm. and uh so i cleaned the house all day saturday which was super exciting oh, but we went to church on sunday which was actually really Nice. It was beautiful, mm -hmm. actually. They do a thing called Forgiveness Sunday. They oh, do it once that. a year. So you basically just say you, you're forgive. You know, you ask people to forgive like anything you might have done against them. And they ask the same of you in church and our priests do it. Mm -hmm. Our priests actually get on their knees and ask for forgiveness. It's actually really, it was really beautiful. It was neat. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah was I neat. love that. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. What about you? What did you do this last week? And anything exciting? Um, I, you know, I was trying to, I was telling you earlier, but my daughter took my car to San Diego on Saturday. It was raining. Um, uh -huh. Well, at the time she left, it wasn't raining, but it was going to rain all day. And she went to Jurassic Park out there. And um, no, I just sat here worrying about if she's going to make it home. <laughs> on the day. Oh, my yeah. Car. yeah. You know, but no. <laughs> um, and then Sunday, we just did our, our weekly shopping. That's it. Nothing exciting. Fun. Yeah. Nothing yeah. That sounds good to me. Hi, Salvador. I know. Hey, Salvador. Hey, we'll see you in a minute. Salvador, Nay. Well, my, my weekend wasn't very eventful. Like, I just cleaned the house, you know, and did all that stuff that I love to do. Um, yes, we all <laughs> do. I know. <laughs> yeah. The work that is has to be done, but is never paid. But <laughs> whatever. But one of the things I was going to mention is, and he's okay, but it has something to do with one of our topics, actually. Hmm. One of my cats, one of my six cats, was attacked by my neighbor's pit bull. Oh, no. And, you know, he made it because his mom was a thug and had a baseball bat nearby. No, <laughs> no I really <laughs> had to run out there. But um, no. I have mentioned it in the past. I've had a problem with these two neighbors, um, or not two neighbors, these neighbors, two dogs. And, yeah, I remember yeah. saying something about that. And they got my beautiful cat. How dare this show be late? I'm a subscriber. <laughs> I apologize, Cholo. I know the whole time, too, I was thinking you're going to suck up. Technical uh, but now my cat, you know, he had a little puncture, not a little, he had a puncture wound on his like front arm. Oh, man. And now he's got a, like the top of his ear is split. So I think it's, I mean, it's an alley, you know, he looks cute though. But, uh, he's okay. He's, okay. he's, 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 he's cute. Right? He's got three ears now, so okay. it's all good. I'm a sucker for scars. What can I say? <laughs> But um, he made it, you know, I got him checked out today and he's going to be all right. So, did they let know. him just like run around like in, do they have like a fenced yard or no? <laughs> what they have. <laughs> I'm afraid. <laughs> uh -oh. or, I'm really trying to watch my mouth right now. It's a combination mm. of lattice. Um, oh, okay. Cutting boards. Oh, Okay. Uh, heat rock, and I think there might be a few uh, plastic bowls screwed in oh. there. Right. <laughs> it's a real pleasure. Living next to them. But yeah, <laughs> well, I'm guessing their dogs 
I mean, they're aggressive dogs, right? From the past that you mentioned. Yeah. Not only these two, but the one they had before this, uh, they were forced to put her down. Uh, she actually killed their own livestock, neighborhood cats, her own puppies, like, and they didn't do it like for any of us, like when we would say, Hey, try to do the neighborly thing and walk over there or call and be like, Hey, this happened or that happened. Or they chased my kids and my kids had to jump on top of the car oh my God. and he would just tell us, shoot it then. Hmm. I'm like, I don't want to have to do that. Like, can you manage your own pet? You know, yeah. Make yeah. strange days. Appreciate it. That's right. The mm -hmm. little swell that have it in them for the background. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, that was the other dog they had before this one. Yeah. So, you know, that one had to be put down. Then they end up getting another one. Of course, this dog's not like put up, cared for. So mm -hmm. she gets pregnant by the one of the local dogs. And then oh, no. the now like four years old. So. You know what I mean? It's like a family tradition over there or something. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, I mean, it's the way you raise your, your pits. Yeah. You know? But that's what I was going to ask you guys. So I heard this story this morning and um, it was on YouTube. I forget what channel it was on, but it was about a story. I think it happened. Um, it was somewhere in Southern California and San Bernardino, I think. And a 80 year old man, you know, trigger warning for anyone. I won't go too in depth on the details, but an 80 year old man and I believe his 79 year old wife went to visit her mother. And when they were walking, I think they had had the visit when they were walking back to their vehicles Two uh, pit bull terriers attacked them and they actually mauled the <sighs> older man to death and um, to death. Yeah, to death. Wow. And there's actual footage of um, the three firefighters with their like pickaxe, like swinging at the dogs to try and get them. They were trying to go for anyone that was on the scene. Hmm. Wow. So That's crazy. Wow. I just wondered, like, you know, all of these that like stirred up a big controversy. Like, what is the deal? Why does everyone? It's such a sensitive topic. Like, you know, those of us, and I think all three of us right here, actually, we have some form of bully breed in our mm -hmm. homes, but it, it's like either you love them and you like, that's my baby or that's my, you know, mm -hmm. or people are like, how could you have that animal around your children? Yeah. yeah. It's just, you know, we got, so we got ours. Um, so he's what they call um, an Argentinian Dogo. Yeah. So he, he has like the, he's, when I got him, I got him from the shelter. And of course, you know, everyone told me, you don't know what you're getting. Like you get a dog like that from the shelter. He's mm. two. Um, and he was, but he mm. was super skinny. And I was like, oh, he, his paws weren't that big. I was like, he's not going to get that big. Yeah. So he was that, that was probably about 50 pounds and he's probably about 80 pounds now, 85. Mm -hmm. But um, the shelter told us that he was, surrendered by a family. Mm -hmm. And so I don't know the circumstances or whatever, but he really is like, he listens. He's really affectionate. He mm -hmm. um, only growls. Like if somebody comes by his food, but not like more like get, get like get away from me. Like don't mess with me. Yeah. But <clears throat> you remember we do have, I have goats and I have chickens. Yeah. So we have, um, we have a Spanish goat and they have like a really like long beard. He's got really huge horns. Very so huge. every time yeah. we go out there, Bowser, that's his name, rears up on him. The goat rears up, Bowser rears up, Bowser. What's his name? His face, Bowser. That ah. was his name. That was his name when we got it. That's so my daughter's it. dog's name. No, is it? Oh, yeah. We didn't change it because I was like, I'm not going to change his name. You know, he's so used funny. to it. Yeah, so yeah. it's funny though, because he, um, of course this happened when I was at home. Thank God. But Mitch mm -hmm. let him outside. Uh, I mean, Mitch let let the goat cut out. So mm -hmm. Bowser took Billy by the horns, flipped his body, flipped him on the ground, oh, and Mitch said his mouth was going like for the neck. The jugular, and Mitch yeah. was like, "Bowser, stop!" And he yeah. said that he stopped. 
Like he just, so it's very instinctual for him. Like I can tell, like he likes rabbits. Yeah. You know, and so he likes the chase or whatever, but mm -hmm. we have little dogs right in our house and he yeah. lets those dogs bite him, growl at him, whatever. He won't <laughs> do anything. So I do really believe that. I mean, I've heard people like we've never done anything bad to our dog and our dog turned. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's just never yeah. been my, that's never been my experience. Yeah. You know, same here. Never had, uh, I mean the, my daughter's red nose Bowser. He's mm -hmm. more of a, um, he watches out like he, mm -hmm. he's a guard dog, you know, yeah. but he did get out the gate once and he chased the, um, <laughs> the UPS guy, <laughs> that guy. I've never, I never even see UPS anymore. Oh, um, wow. <laughs> they got your house noted, right? My puppy, the one that passed, he was a blue nose Aww. and he was such a baby. Like at five mm -hmm. years old, he was, he was such a cuddly. Yeah. You know, they Bowser is too. He tries to get on my lap. I'm like, dude, you're like 90 pounds. Like you're not like a little. Yeah. <laughs> How are you here? He's huge. I show him often on the lives. Um, but yeah, he's yeah. a big old dog, and he's more Aww. of a protector. You know? Yeah. Plus, I got. Yeah. Is he? How old is he? Huh? How old is he? Uh, six. He's gonna be Aww. either six or he turns seven on December. I forgot, but around that. Um. Yeah. He. Uh, we got squirrels, possums. I had a raccoon. <laughs> He'll sit yeah. there by the window and just growl all day long. Just like, <laughs> but it seems like he loves people more, you know, like yeah. people that come over and they know he, he knows like there are our friends or whatever. Yeah. He'll he'll just chill out. He won't be all weird, but yeah. Show up at the gate unannounced mm -hmm. and you're gonna get yeah. yeah. Well, it's funny because it. I took Bowser too. We took him to our it's so funny, family I Christmas. I know. It's so funny that that's name. I've never heard oh, another cool. dog have that. Yeah. That's awesome. And uh, it was funny because I was, I was obviously a little bit worried because my grandkids were there and I didn't know, like, you know, I didn't know how he was going to actually harness him mm -hmm. so I could, so Mitch could grab him if he needed to. And mm -hmm. um, he did great. He did really, really good. Yeah. Like he just no, no signs of aggression or anything like that. But I really do believe that, you know, how much were they not fed? How yeah. much were they? I mean, I think all that comes to play. Were they mistreated? Mm -hmm. Were they hit or yeah. whatever? Like I can tell Bowser's never, I don't think he's ever been because he doesn't flinch or anything. Like even if I, if like if I drop something or whatever, he doesn't do that, you know, oh, that okay. thing. Okay, that makes sense to me too. I think it. I heard a great example, and um, I forget who said it now. Of course, mm -hmm. but it's kind of the same thing. It kind of compared the whole situation as when people say it's not the G U N, it's the owner. But it's the same situation. It's not the dog; it's the owner. Oh yeah, right. I believe that one hundred. You kind of compare that same scenario in a way. It's how you you treat them, you raise them. Yep. Um, okay, here we go. Let me add house to the convo. Hey, can you hear us? Yeah, I hear. I hear you. I hear you. I hear you. Hey, hey, I have a. I have a question. Oh no. Okay. On, on the screen, it still has a play symbol on there. Is that normal or what? It has a what? The button to press play. Really? Yeah. I don't see it on my end. I don't have it on mine either. Oh, there it's gone away now. It's got it went away. I, I pressed it and it went away. Oh, You're good. <laughs> hey Jen, I swear your thing said 7 30 tonight. Really? <laughs> Where on TV? And, that, and that's why I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know, and I'm yeah. all, all chilling around and then all of a sudden I get the notification. I'm like, what what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> it's check me. back. Happen, check yeah. back on. How you guys, how you guys, how you ladies doing? Good? Okay. Good, good. I finally, good. Uh, good. I was just little technical issues in the beginning. That was all my fault though. Just learning as I go and um, happy okay. to be here with all of you. You know, yeah. what's, what's your opinion house? Have, what kind of dogs do you normally have? Or do you have dogs? Uh, my dogs, I had uh, no, no pit bulls. I had a uh, Husky, Siberian Husky, a Malamute Husky. Uh, with a German Shepherd yeah. and a uh, pug. Oh, you have a pug? Yeah. Check this out. I had pug. a pug pit bull mix once. Hey, 
That dog was a nightmare. I'm going to share this story with you. We had a, a Husky and German Shepherd mix, and we had a, somebody gave us a pug, right? Mm -hmm. So I came home from work, and they were locked up. And then they had, she had pup from the dog, from, from the German Shepherd, yes. A now, pug? yeah, a pug and a German yeah. Shepherd Husky okay. mix. Was the so, mama a pug? The female? What's that? Was the female the pug? Yes. Oh, yes. Wow. Okay. And she had like six pups. Mm. And when they grew up, they looked like pugs, but a little bit bigger. Okay. And their nose wasn't flat no more. It kind of stuck out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, they solved that you problem. Yeah. You ever take so it's all, uh, you know, my mom took the dog. It was a trip. She took a couple, one dog and she has pictures, but she passed away. And I don't know where her pictures went, but oh, man. they like, look like big bugs, but the nose was pushed out a little bit and it, it was a trip. I, I was like, wow. And we, when they gave it to us, they told us the dog was fixed, you know, my, and at that time, my, my, my wife at the time says, oh, let's take it. I love this dog. And we named her Phoebe. We named her Phoebe. Aww. And she was a snore. She was a snorer, man. I mean, she was, man. Yeah. yeah, they usually are, right? The pugs? Yeah. yeah, yeah. They are. The one we had, this is the worst story ever. I think I shared this once. You guys, please don't hate me. And uh, any animal rights people, um, this was not my fault. No dogs were harmed, but my kids' mentality might have been <laughs> slightly. Okay, so this this pug, first of all, somebody pushed him off on me, a family member. Well, pug pit bull mix. So I'm like, sure, he was little at the time. You know, mm -hmm. I had two kids. I didn't realize I was about to have my third. I just had got my back injury. Like nothing was going right. Mm -hmm. I get this puppy basically pushed on me. And it was funny. He was like a long pug, but with the pit bull tail. And I'm like, what the heck is this dog? You know, and he's like, oh, they had a pug and a pit bull and it had puppies. This dog would like, I had a sliding glass door. Mm -hmm. It would continuously jump and hit the door. Just boom, boom. Wow. I think something was like a little bit wrong with him because... Mm -hmm. I <laughs> wasn't outside. telling you you had to go outside, or you just even when he would jump up the door. That's weird. Yeah. And I'm like, you got about one more day of jumps. And, you know, <laughs> <laughs> I tried I, to see if anybody would take him. You know, I really Dang. like financially and my stress at that time, I could not handle it. So mm -hmm. I go to surrender him by myself and I make sure I'm like, you're not going to, you know, put him down. Right. You're not going to, mm. no, 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 we wouldn't do that. He's somebody will adopt him quick because mm. he's little and cute. So I'm like, okay. I cried the whole way home. Uh -huh. you know, the kids are like, where's Pugsley? I'm like, Oh, I don't know. You know what I mean? I'll check. <laughs> oh, shit. This is awful. So that night I make dinner. I remember what I made and everything. I mm. made <laughs> arroz con pollo. We're sitting at the table, and we had a TV at the time up in the corner. You know, how, like you would put sometimes a TV in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So, what comes on? Adopt a pet. Oh. On. And guess who they're holding? <laughs> Shut up. And they say, "Look at this little cutie puppy who was surrendered by his owner yesterday." My kids. You guys, if I could tell you the look, all of their heads spun around and looked at me. I'm like, oh, I Girl, just that's not him. Talk, you know? That's crazy. Why is he just there? I couldn't bring my, you know, I eventually came clean, but the shock, I mean, like, I was thinking, damn, they could have at least gave me a heads up. You know? Yeah, that's weird. Dude. Oh, my God. That sucks. Anyway, he was adopted in the first round. So <laughs> I want to say, I want to say, I don't know the late the, the lady right there. What's her name? Adrian. Adrian. Uh, the, Hi, Adrian. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I know. I know Denise. Boy, do I know Denise. <laughs> <laughs> well, 
Yeah, that's my hey, you know, pit, pit bulls, um, my experience with pit bulls, they're majority of the time they're pretty vicious, you know? Okay. But it depends on how you raise them too. But I think they're temperamental dogs. But when you if you're gonna raise a dog and you're gonna be mean to it, you're gonna kick it around or do whatever, yeah. The first of the dog's gonna say, Hey man, I don't like these human beings. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Mm -hmm. Hey man, they're mean to me. I'm gonna get back at them, you know? Yeah. Or if you keep them confined on a chain, no doubt they're gonna turn bad. You oh know? yeah. Heck yeah. My brother so, back in the eighties, like late eighties, my brother had a pit bull. His name was Bata. And Aww. Bata, I was probably 10 at the time. Well, yeah, at the time I was 10, maybe not in the uh, late 80s, but okay. So Bata was chained to a, a tree. He had this big old car chain because my brother would tra train him to be mean. Yeah. And mm -hmm. he did that on purpose so that nobody would come, mm -hmm. you know, to the house. Yeah. <laughs> like towards the backyard area anyways. So he trained this dog to be so mean and um i think i told the story jen when he bit the homeless lady yeah so yeah they took Bato away and we never seen him again and but that's the way my brother trained him to be so just so everyone yeah. like when she was walking by right like yeah she came into the backyard you know to go to the backyard and my brother at night he would let the chain go just a little bit more to get to the walkway mm -hmm. So she ended up getting bit, but um telling you, he trained that dog to be mean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, See, I trained my papa yeah. to be the yeah. cuddliest puppy you can ever imagine, you know, and he sadly passed away five months ago. So. I uh, I look at it like this. I mean, you know, like there's a lot of pit bulls and chows, another mm. okay. Chows. I'm glad you said I had that. a uh my ex brother in law had a chow. Hmm. He always kept it on the chain. And when it got loose, it was attacking everybody, mailman, mm -hmm. everybody, right? Yeah. So yeah. one day we went down there. But when the, the dogs around family is kind of cool, right? But for some reason that day, my daughter was uh, like four years old at the time, right? Mm -hmm. She turned around and went like this. To the, he was facing the opposite direction. Mm -hmm. He put her hand on the back of his neck. He turned around and bit her right here on the side. Mm -hmm. And we had to take her to get stitches, right? Mm -hmm. and, and after that, me and him didn't talk for a long time. You know, because he was saying, oh, she shouldn't have went and pulled his hair. She's just a kid, and you know? Yeah. Right. So uh, after that, to make a long story short, the dog ended up biting him in his front yard big time. Damn. And, he pa and he passed out. We had to call the ambulance and everything. Wow. They said, See what happens? They finally put that dog to rest. You know, Cause yeah. he was wild. Only because it bit him. Yeah. yeah. And that's how I felt when their dog, the first one, like it would come after us all the time. It wasn't until she attacked their own, like mm -hmm. their own, like yeah. she attacked her own puppies, but their grandkids thought it happened. Mm -hmm. So it like traumatized them. And finally, then they were, they put their dog down. Yeah. Do you guys remember when the pit bulls, when they started to really like bite the little baby, like babies, uh -huh. like chairs and stuff? And you would hear that on the news a lot. They mm -hmm. say they're overbred. And that's what mm -hmm. I like. That's what I've been hearing is that they've been yeah. bred to the point of they're mm -hmm. going to have like, like mental health issues. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they just don't. But I, yeah, I mean, yeah. I do feel like there is, but I feel like there's an unpredictability about any dog, but I hear what you're saying. Yeah. about chows because i had a friend of mine who had a chow and he was a freaking psycho i mean like he would be real melt like he'd be really mellow and then like if you just <laughs> like i don't know he would really like just but he would get but his owner had like a i think he was trained mm -hmm. to be aggressive mm -hmm. but his owner would always have him on one of those um like a harness yeah. And he was a big guy. So he'd always like just grab him up. Like if he started, you know, whatever. Okay. But I was nervous. Like when I took Bowser to our family's house, I was a little bit nervous. I mean, because I was like, I didn't know how he was going to act with my grandkids. Right. Because one of them's five and I was worried that she was yeah. going to get up in his face or whatever. Mm -hmm. But he took it like a champ. But you never know. Like I had a friend that had a rot. 
real timid kind of um scary cat a little yeah. bit like she was mm -hmm. really really scared mm -hmm. and um i was dog sitting her and i put my i was sitting at the computer and i put my arm around her neck um like we were playing or whatever yeah well, all i saw was teeth like oh, coming in my face but she bit me like if she wanted to bite me she oh, could have do you know what i mean so but she just separated like this part of my nostril like just completely like cut clean and i was just like okay do i still have a nose you know my friend was yeah. gonna put her down but then we realized she was a parvo dog so when they yeah. treated her when she was a baby they put that cone on mm -hmm. her neck put the iv in her neck for like three months to oh, me so yeah. i was just like you guys tell people not to put their you know their hands around yeah. her neck but yeah. you know i know they're unpredictable they can be and i yeah, know they I mean, get a bad rap but you know yeah. Animals are animals. That's why they're called animal. Any yeah. any animal, you know, you gotta some of them, well, the ones you don't know, you gotta treat like like right. animals. You only know your your puppies, you know, your dogs. Yeah. And even with that, like this is that's something my dad, I mean, I grew up in the country. There's some things that come with growing up in the country. You learn a few things about animals. My dad, I remember from a young age, he taught me that that's something interesting that you mentioned that dog was timid because he would mm -hmm. say a timid dog or animal is an aggressive one uh -huh. they, they're, they're, if they act scared of you it's for a reason uh -huh. you might not know why but right. you know so i when i was younger i rode horses and i showed horses like in an arena until my parents divorced and that all stopped yeah. but there was this one time and the the horse barn that i would go to to like volunteer to clean the stalls and all that so i could ride they were like go get this certain horse and um, my brother was with me we were little kids we were like seven and eight and they just gave us the rope we walked out to the, the arena and there's horses everywhere so we see the white horse and my brother goes to get it he wasn't as familiar with the horses as i was because he didn't mm -hmm. like to ride so he clips the the rope on the halter brings the horse to me yeah. we go in the barn i start to tie her up and then i'm not kidding you the second i realized wait a minute this isn't her she has one gray sock this horse didn't that horse as soon as i tied her up flipped out oh, she ended up tearing the door right off the stall and mm -hmm. there was a story behind that like she was previously you know uh, yeah. harmed by her previous owners and it was something to do with they would leave her tied up for days so mm -hmm. I was when I her out, it traumatized her she flipped out. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Someone, someone was saying on the chat about uh inbreeding. Yeah. The dog, you know? Yeah. yeah. That's not that's not good, you know. That's he like is. that one, that's like that one movie. I don't know if you guys seen it, multiplicity. Have you guys ever seen that movie? Mm -mm. What no. is it? Where this guy clones himself. And the more clones he makes, the dumber they get. <laughs> <laughs> I think I know What's that. Called? <laughs> Multiplicity. Multiplicity. I'm gonna look that up. Yeah, I gotta watch that. <laughs> that's a, that's yeah. an old movie, but yeah, the more he makes to help himself out, yep. the dumber they get. You know? <laughs> you know, I saw. I just saw that comment from um, Miwak Queen about yeah. the Cane Corso and a bull mastiff. We have a friend of ours that the has, party. A, has a baby. Uh, King Corso, I think he's like probably about six months old now. Oh, he yeah. is huge, huge, yeah. but he My is so some. sweet. Yeah. He's he's really really sweet. He's kind of yeah. he's kind of a little bit of a doofus, but he's mm -hmm. like really he's really sweet. He's yeah, really, yeah. yeah. And I just saw that dog. Not I just got I just heard of that type of dog um, when my cousin got him, and she had bread. She had you know, I think they had six. Her puppies mm -hmm. she has the mom and dad and then the one of the the daughters but like you said they're six months and they're huge yeah their paws like, are like I mean, it's incredible yeah and one of our um, he's on here every now and then east bay i think he has king corsos he might raise them or he just has them i'm not sure but they're they are huge they are you know my daughter has a pit bull uh named That's ryu i don't know if you've seen him jen but he's so cute but she um literally has like um you know the service dogs, how they wear yeah. like, yeah, little yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, she has one that says, "Do not touch me." Yeah, you, you're supposed she's to have that on them. She don't yeah. take them to the dog park. 
She yeah. has a trainer. She takes him to the park by herself, you know, with yeah. her husband, by yeah. the, the dog's self. She's like, mom, you should never have took your puppy to the dog park. Like, mm -hmm. we're not saying he got sick there, but mm -hmm. he was sick a lot. <laughs> he was sick a lot. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, I know, I know the, I know some other people that got his brothers and sisters. So I know mm -hmm. that they're fine. Yeah. So, um, maybe mine was the last. I'm not sure. I, I haven't <laughs> asked that yet, but I don't even think it matters. But yeah. um, he was probably the rut. Mm -hmm. We call him Runt, Runt of the, yeah. the you know. Cholo Trucker yeah. said the name of that guy which plays in it. Uh, Mike, yeah. Michael Keaton. Michael Keaton. I, I remember seeing yeah. that yeah. advertised, but I never saw it. I never right. saw it. Now I'm going to have to check it out. I'm going to check it out, too. You know, so, you know what kind? You know what kind of dogs that I uh, really like though is Afghan. Have you ever seen those? What are they? Afghan. No, they're beautiful. Like they're them. super high. They're high maintenance, but they're beautiful dogs. They are Correct. Beautiful. They have long hair. Beautiful dogs. Uh, yeah. 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 They, their hair goes all the way to the ground, and they're yeah, about. Their they're hair like is like I'm sorry, Doberman I'm that. I'm oh, nice. That, that, that yeah. it, they have beautiful hair. They really yeah. do. My yeah. grandma had a schnauzer. Not, not to throw you off, but snow a schnauzer and those yeah. those dogs. That's what I grew kind of grew up with at my grandma's house. The schnauzer. Yeah. Why I got a pit bull? I don't know. But <laughs> hey, is, is the schnauzer is the schnauzer uh, um, the one with They're, the target guy, the target dog? No, that that's a, no, um, that's. That's, that's what, uh, a terrier. Somebody, yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Terrier, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Snowders, they, they look like little German, like they. Yeah, they have like, like little them. little tiny beards. They're yeah. um, they kind of I don't know. They're they're small, but they're yeah. they're usually yappers. Yeah, like, like they this? a lot. Little tiny like this. <laughs> 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 I gotta look at oh. that dog you're talking about, though. I haven't right. heard about. No, but we love we love our pets. We love our angels, <laughs> like my little sweetheart. Then my to G. Lou in there. G. Lou in the house. Sure. Yes. G. Lou. Much love to yep. the channel. You know, I always wondered why my sister would. She had um chihuahuas. She had two mm -hmm. of them, and she would treat them so like, you know, she would feed her her food off of them, and they would eat it, and she would sleep with them, and you know, I'd go over and one crawling out of her bed, and I'm like, what the heck? <laughs> but <laughs> you you don't know until you. You get that you you have that relationship with with a pet like you right. know, I never had a pet by myself and my papa was the first one and I treated him like a king that he was you know but I'm laughing because um think I've ever heard that story I would never guess I would do that yeah <laughs> yeah but yeah Same. they really they really you in man hey, yeah hey big dog I'm really aware of that that case um. Same. Big time, that was right? In San Francisco. She was a lawyer. Oh, wow. She was a what? lawyer that got uh there's a there's a lot of backstory to that. Mm. Some of that is just it's a it's crazy. Like they they adopted actually somebody from a grown man that was in prison. I was adopted. Do you remember that? Jen? I was wondering and, um, yeah. and they uh he wanted to raise like those King Corsos mm. and they had him literally in an apartment. In San Francisco, he and he attacked that chick in an elevator, I think, or in a stairwell. Yeah, and killed and, her. Um, she was trapped at that point. The stairwells yeah. in San Francisco are tiny. I yeah, mean, that, that particular, particular type of that particular type of dog is it a big dog? I don't even. I never even big, yeah, monkeys. they look like mini ponies. They yeah. do. That's exactly okay. right. They totally yeah. do. I had okay. a um, I had a massive uh, pit bull mastiff, like. Oh yeah, yeah. But he was an outside dog. He never came inside. But he was. Those he are pretty like huge. Little, yeah. yeah. They're like yeah. ponies. You said that yeah. exactly right. They're yeah. little ponies. Some of those big yep. Yeah, they are. You know, I wanted to. Um, I know Denise. I had mentioned this to you the other day, and I know you guys must remember this. To, mm -hmm. But just to switch it up real quick, do you guys remember that two billion dollar? Powerball lotto winnings that happened. I mean, I think they drew the ticket on yeah. Valentine's Day. It was down here in Arcadia. <laughs> one, there was one person that won, one ticket winner. Right. So Altadina, I think, I'm sorry, Altadina. Do you remember? Was it Pasadena? Altadena. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Is that, is that, okay. So, what happened with that? There was wasn't there some controversy? Yeah, we we're talking about it. I told you last year in January, this guy, um, I had take, took some notes.
um, this guy by the name of Edwin Castro, yeah. he was the original ticket buyer. Mm -hmm. How this man, Reggie, got the ticket, I don't know. But there came the reason why I came back up is because there's a lawsuit right now. Because Reggie didn't show up. I mean, Reggie Castro didn't show up to get his um, his winnings. It took a long time, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's pending still because supposedly this man Reggie stole the ticket. They don't show, they don't say how or what, you know. But he got hold of the ticket and was threatening this guy Castro. But if he didn't kick down with some winnings, you know, he was going to rip up the ticket. Yeah, I think I had read that. Like he was trying to. Yeah, block. so I'm like, dude, really? That's crazy. So it came up. Yeah, so a lawsuit came up. Like maybe I think last month. That's why it resurfaced yeah. on the news. Mm -hmm. Yeah, dude. So so now they're just waiting to see what happens. Right. That's crazy. So the lotto, said, would... California lotto can't get involved because it's a criminal case, and they don't really right. get involved in like. Yeah. The California lottery, they don't get yeah. involved. So. Right. That's because it's saying, a criminal yeah. case, yeah. Hey, uh, what That's happened? Crazy. You they know, I for investigation. As soon as you get that ticket, as soon as you get that ticket, sign that bad yeah, boy. Yeah, I was thinking that. Sign well, it, man. Have you seen, or whatever? Have you seen that they they give? There's actual like guidelines that they tell people to do. They're like one, yes. don't tell anybody. Yep. Yeah. Two, yeah. get get a lawyer. Yeah. Like that's the first yeah. thing yeah. you should do is you get a lawyer. Yeah. No matter, even if you bought the damn ticket yourself, right? right. And you don't have any other people in it yeah. because, you know, people are freaking, when it comes to money. Hey. Oh, yeah. You know I mean? you know it's sure. your own so so they're, they're looking at surveillance to see if that guy, Castro, went in there. Yeah. Um, That's so what I was going to say. Yeah. yeah so it, the cops surveillance the should show it. Investigation. Yeah. Right. See, that's yeah. what I had saw. I had saw that part where. <laughs> The like you said, Denise, the lotto said they don't get involved. Yeah, but the local authorities were aware of it, and they had watched the video uh, recording from that convenience store, which showed Edwin purchasing the ticket. Yeah. The winner, the person where they stood up and showed the big check. Yeah, the big check. He declined to be there, which I would have too. Yeah. But the California state law requires they they tell your name, like you. Yeah. It's public information. Yeah, they know it's public record. Yeah, you don't have to show up. How much was that? That one billion was that two billion? billion? It was two, two billion. Two. I, you yeah. know what I thought was so crazy about that was the um, the delay, right? Because uh, like right. here, I didn't hear it. I was like, why didn't that person like step forward? And I remember saying to Mitch, mm -hmm. mm, something's probably yeah. going on because I haven't heard yeah. that they fight when they, yeah. it was like months, what like two months a month? I mean, before the was, person claimed yeah. it or whatever, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. That was that was 2022, back in uh, January, February. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, the reason crazy. why, like I said, it resurfaced was because it's a, you know. But how how the other guy got the ticket? I don't even know. How how did he know. get hold of it? Something's not right. It sounds like yeah, it's not me. right. Something's just hey. <laughs> just to solidify, it, sign that bad boy. As soon as you I get know. it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I was, that's what I would do. Sign it. Get an attorney. Yeah. Go go uh, radio silent. I'm sure he'll get his money. Um, they just yeah, the owner, the owner of the store was happy because what he won one million or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. 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 And then my Edwin's score right here is um, cross street won two times the lotto. I heard that. That's cool. Right I heard about people winning it. Like a friend of me just did that, does the like scratchers, yeah. and he also does like the tickets. Mm -hmm. Same thing, he won like 200. Like fifty thousand, I don't know, like twice or three times wow. of the same numbers. No, way. he plays wow. the same because I always do quick Damn, picks. Cool. As they say, the yeah. odds are better, or whatever. Mm -hmm. But um, he played a certain set of numbers, and he played them and played them and played them, and then he, you know, there you go, house. Yeah. yeah, my grandma used yeah. to do that. She would play the same numbers over and over. Yeah. I think I would too, because I'm. I don't play the lotto, but but I think I would too because I'm so like. Same thing, same thing. Yeah. 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 You know what I mean? Like, Wait, yeah. I, the most I won on there, uh, not a lot of, but a lot of ticket is a thousand dollars on a two dollar ticket. You that's know. Good. Yeah. Good. I said, so, oh, that's a good investment right there. <laughs> <laughs> the most I won was a hundred bucks on a, but I think it was a, 
one of those ones that were like 15 or 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So yeah. My That's nephew's it, no. wife, man, she she always wins. She buys those thirty dollar tickets. You gotta you gotta mm. pay to play. Right. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's why I hate going to Thank Vegas. Because I used to go to Vegas with my husband's um aunt with his yep. aunt a lot. We would go all the time and man, I would never win. Mm -hmm. And she would always win. I said, money follows money. Yeah, it's true. What didn't you know? <laughs> it's true. <laughs> right? You know what? Right? I, I don't know. I don't know if I told this story, but my nephew, I tattooed. 777 on the back of his head right here and i did it in where it glows in the and, and with the black light oh man uh, day later he went to the store and he won uh a thousand dollars on a ticket yeah so no, i would take him to the why, casino why do, you to, why do you choose to put that because you just got luck like that he, he's he's a gambler he was a gambler and I would take him to the casino and I'd be rubbing his head right or right now. I'm winning, man. I'm winning. Uh, well, you know, I put, house. I put Benjamin true. Franklin oh, on the back of his head. Oh, you know? Sure. And and I said, You bring me those one bring me those one hundred dollar bills, man. <laughs> you know? I've never heard of anybody doing that. That's yeah. Wild. That's wild. That's wild. But yeah, it just seems like, and I remember, you guys probably remember too, there used to be a show, I forget what it was called, but it was like the Lotto Curse or like- mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I never watched that, and I remember hearing about it. Yeah, I watched that. Yeah, I watched That's it. Crazy. They in the Lotto, like they would be like, you know, not poor, but they didn't have money, mm -hmm. right? They would show like, kind of like, they would tell their pat their- Yeah, yeah like yes. give a story leading up to it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so- uh, I they say, would give a Joker, what's up, Joker? They would win, and they would go buy this mansion and like six cars, and just blow their money. Yeah, didn't have nothing to show for it, yeah. you know. Besides, I mean, hey, money comes and goes quick, man. Hey, it does. They stuff money goes taxes. quick, man. Yeah. Best thing is invest in a business and, and yeah. keep on going, keep on getting that money back, you know. Yeah. yeah. But yeah. they would you know, just they say, blow they it. say that's a uh, they say that's a real common deal when people come into money is that mm -hmm. they just like blow it and oh, it like they it. just they just spend and you know like a dollar's a dollar's a dollar right so the more you get the more you spend mm -hmm. so yeah so I just that's and then they don't have <laughs> shit then sorry they don't have anything to me left yeah. so they just you know it's yeah. crazy. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like they still have to pay their taxes on their big old giant mansion, right? Mm -hmm. Right. What are they gonna pay? And, How and, and, they so they just end up losing everything. Everything like, costs so more to operate those big toys, whether it be boats, yachts, whatever. It costs yeah. money. Yep. Yeah. Hardy. Hey, there's Bell right there. Hola, everyone. How cute. Episode one. I love it. I know, girl. I'm trying. <laughs> You're doing great. Right. Hello. Hey, Bell. Um, so this one, I know Adrian, you have got some input, and a lot of people probably do, but I have also come across because I watch like a variety of, of videos on YouTube. I really don't watch much TV, but not only did I see this on YouTube, it's affecting members of my family. Hmm. There's like they're calling it like the great migration mm -hmm. out of California. Mm -hmm. People are yeah. in massive numbers. Yeah. Yeah, so, yeah. Okay, Adrian, you went out. Let me know if you need me to send the link again. Not sure what happened. Sorry about that. My phone rang and it okay. just went like, oh, you yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Adrian's all peace. I'm out. <laughs> I'll see you later. <laughs> right? But I think, what was it? I had wrote it down even because I'm like, I cannot even believe this number. Yeah. Last year, I think it was like 300. Yeah. 360,000 people left California. Yeah, I believe it. And they're yeah. now saying that the only reason like California is sort of like keeping its population somewhat elevated, like not super crazy in a dip is because more people are being born than are dying. But the amount of people that are leaving mm -hmm. is like a, a massive amount. Well, I think that number actually is because uh, last year it was almost a half a million. Mm. Yeah, last, 500, last, last, yeah, five hundred thousand. That's what I was year, reading right yeah. now. Five hundred thousand. Yeah. 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 It's but, crazy. It's crazy. But you crazy. know what? People are moving in. 
different people. The people that are moving now can't afford California. Yeah. Now the other people are coming in from other states that can afford to live here. You know what I'm saying? Gentrification. Yeah. That's what's happening. Yeah. I also think it's I think a lot of it's political too. Oh yeah, I was gonna say like yeah. laws are shitty you know, here yeah. in California. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think pol I think the politics and the wokeness and all that is like so I have lived in California my entire life and mm -hmm. was born in Redwood City, lived in San Jose most of my life. Mm -hmm. And uh, we were going to buy a house in Placerville when, when Mitch got out of prison. And um, uh, we were, then COVID hit, of course. And so we were like, oh man, you know, look at the prices are going down. We were both still working mm -hmm. and everything. And so um, when, then we started watching, you know, when the housing market went nuts so in California, yeah. I was like, we are never, and I was like, I make okay money. Like this is crazy i'll never be able to afford it's never going to happen like I'll, I'll never do it and just the opportunity when i came out to arizona not only are there politics um <clears throat> and the freedoms are a lot different you don't know what you're locked into until you're not in it anymore yeah yeah i mean like That's like good. yeah it's, it's, it's little little stupid shit like yeah i know this is gonna sound <clears throat> stupid but like i was so happy when i was driving through town and i saw a bunch of kids in the back of a truck like oh, right it's legal here in arizona dude. right and they were yeah. just like having the like they were living their best life just having a good time they had their fishing poles yep. they were like going to do that legal thing. right now where you're at yeah yeah wow, that's yeah cool, so man. it just was it, it just was like um okay this is another thing that's crazy and it's a little thing but to me it's a big thing like and where i work i work at a hospital and i went into the conference room and there's a picture of Jesus in the conference room. Wow. Wait, wow. so wait, is it like a St. Jude? You don't see that over here. Not you don't like see that, that over it's here. It's an actual <laughs> picture. Well, you do house if it's Jesus. like a St. Jude or something. Oh, you do? Or yeah. But they oh, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because those were all yeah. bought out by corporate. Oh, it's wow. very rare that you will ever see a Catholic hospital anymore or anything like that because they were they were bought out because they couldn't afford to have them anymore. But it, anyways, it's just the little things that you just don't. Yeah, like no, you know right. the kids like kids stay out till all hours but they're out mm -hmm. like they're swimming they're kayaking they're mm -hmm. out like having fun whatever they're they're cliff jumping they're like doing yeah. like oh. all this kind of stuff and i was yeah. like oh, that's awesome man that's <laughs> you know yeah but it, a lot of it for us was a i could afford three and a half acres for under three hundred thousand dollars with a yeah. two thousand square foot house wow do you mean so i was just like it was a no-brainer it was a no-brainer yeah. we're like oh my god but arizona's so hot and believe me i'm a girl that i like the heat but not like cooking yeah. and so um it the but i live in northern arizona so it's very temperate it's like okay. um like right now at nighttime it's in the 20s and Damn. in the wow. daytime <laughs> it's in the 50s and this wow. summer the hottest our place gets is like 105 but really for us it was not only the politics of just what was happening in California, but it was also mm -hmm. phone ringing again. Give me a second, Jen. Be yeah, go ahead. So okay. I, I don't think I ever told you that uh, we had a house out in you, um, Yucca Valley, uh, mm -hmm. a cabin. My husband inherited a cabin out in Yucca Valley, right? Okay. And the homeless, like this was in 2012. Mm -hmm. uh, the homeless just started to get, you know, just started to get bad. And uh, he ended up selling it, but it was five acres, I believe. But See, they sold it dirt cheap, dirt yeah. cheap. And now it's worth a lot. Yeah. But he sold it back in yeah, 2016, I believe, or something like that. But yeah, that's, that's five acres nowadays. That's like gold. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And it was by the big, I guess, this known, um, I forgot what rock that was, what it was called. Oh, I'll okay. think about it. But yeah, it was like in a very nice little area out there. Yeah. You know, it's crazy that you say that because I was looking, not that I was looking for it, but you know how you come across like ads and um, there was something on the local real estate ad. I was just curious, like, you know, because some of my, my younger son, I'm like, oh, I wonder if he can move a little closer. Yeah. He's only a couple towns over, but still. Hey, um, Jen. 
I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Okay. Um, there was this house and it's on like an, an eighth of an acre. So one eighth of an acre, right? Two bedrooms, hmm. 800 square feet. And it's $698,000. Wow. And that's two miles from me. Dang. That's not a lot of square footage right there. No. Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, and the people, you know, the people in the comment section are like roasting the, you know, yeah. real estate agent. Like that's, that's a nice shack. You know, that's a nice, <laughs> you know, and I, hey, we, we take what we, we have, but I mean, that, that's outrageous. Yeah. And then, yeah, that may be the going price in this area, but it's ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, it's going yeah. up. You know what? A lot of people and a lot of investors are purchasing homes now, yeah. not just regular people. And then they're renting them out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And property managers rent them out, you know, and yeah. raise the rent. They, they, and you know what else? They, like in um, like in L.A., mm -hmm. all those apartments and houses you see where, uh, you know, our grandma or gra grandpa's lived for, yeah. for years, like my grandma, mm -hmm. she didn't own her house. And I, I thought she did, mm -hmm. um, but so now everybody has passed on that lived with my grandma, my three uncles. Yeah, um, they're all gone. You know, my uncle just passed away like three weeks ago, but uh, he was the last of. of the, so, anyways, her house. Mm -hmm. um, what they're doing around the area is like they're fixing up. Um, they're fixing up all those old apartments and old houses, you know, get, they got new owners. So they're modern, modernizing their, yeah. their apartment or houses. And it's uh, a new generation. I forgot what it's called, but it's just yeah. a new generation out there. Yeah. You guys. Yeah. And That's crazy. You gotta be trendy. That little 800 square foot house mm -hmm. it showed pictures and it said built in 1969. Wow. There was nothing, wow. nothing changed inside of that house. Hey. Oh. Like that's you know what, cool looking. You know, what I, yeah. you know what I suggest that people do is buy back in their neighborhood, man, because that yeah. gentrification is changing everything. You know, yeah. you know. Then we could come by. We Jokers could be in Arizona. Hey, we could come by and we could be driving down the street like. Right. Yeah. <laughs> down the street right the oldies. Here. the oldies yeah. all That's out. right. Get oh, the neighborhood. Cool. Buy the neighborhood back again, man. Yeah. If you can do it, do it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. get a piece of that. Definitely. I thought to myself, <laughs> I wish I would have been in a position yeah. 15 years ago, you know what I mean, to buy something of my own. Yeah. I do have family members that own, you know, a couple houses. Thank God. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't even be here still, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I, it also opened my eyes, like, you know, that might. I might have to move in the future if something were to change. Yeah. And keep you in prayer, Jen. Keep you in yeah. prayer. Man. You know, because yeah, it you. sucks, man. That, that really does suck when mm -hmm. stuff like that happens to be that good. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's something, too. The places that people are moving to is basically all the bordering states. So, like, yeah, uh, that's Arizona, right. Utah, Idaho, Washington State. Yeah. And I think they said even Colorado. There you but go. There's a lot. They said move to Texas as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I have like four people you know, in Texas last year. Strange days. I like what he says. You know, a simple I know, I was life. Tell you, read it. Read it. Live a simple life, man. You know? Yeah. I have five acres. Big D. Yep. That word. Okay. <laughs> right. I like the same thing, Strange Days. Simple life. Like, yeah. Yeah. Weather is a. I think my grandma used to tell me that, like in California, she's like, you know, we pay for the weather. It's because we have the perfect, mm -hmm. like, we pay for the weather. That's yeah. true. That's true. And the way I get it. Like there's not, nor, there's typically not one extreme over the other, unless there's some weird stuff going on, you know. It depends on where you live. You got the mountains, the beach yeah. in your range and, and, you know, so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, right. think about, I was going to ask, um, do you, D, you know, if uh, oh, she has air conditioning because it, it gets hot out in Arizona, but oh, she says yeah. she lives in a 
Well, she has air conditioning though. Oh, okay. Yeah, she does. Well, thinking like hey, Arizona, not hey, when I think of Arizona, I think of spontaneous combustion. You walk outside and just boom, yeah, and you're gone. Yeah. <laughs> that's how I. That's how I take it too. I'm not good <laughs> with heat. As I'm getting older, I'm even worse. Yeah, I went to um, Las Vegas. Oh, the only time I ever flew, I went to Vegas when I was 18 years old. I got married. The second the plane That's landed, awesome. it was so hot, my nose started bleeding. Oh, no. I was, I like, I'll pass out in the heat. I'm were, that, you, um, were you with child at no. that time? Okay. Well, I'm okay. child, but not a child. <laughs> <laughs> Stop making me buzz. <laughs> I'm no, it just I want to say peace to a, uh, AZ Diablo. How you doing, brother? Yeah, he's an AZ. Else. I've seen him yes. in a long time. Mm -hmm. I work for the county recorder. He is. And her work went, oh, what, check it out, what Teresa said. She worked for the county recorders, and our work went down 45%. Jeez. That's crazy. Uh, is, are you in California, Teresa, if you don't mind me asking? Gentrification, no. yeah. Did you guys see the snow in Big Bear? Like, yeah. right here where... The yeah. mountains here, oh, I can look out my parents' backyard and the mountains all have snow. Like those pictures, I don't know if you guys seen them. I posted on my community page. Yeah. Is looking out my parents' Oh, backyard. I saw that. That was beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I we have a lot of snow right now, dude. That yeah. people are trapped from going in and trapped from coming out. No. They stopped and they closed roads and stuff. And yes. this oh. lady was so sad that she's like, I have my kids up there for four days without without wow. her. Without food, you know, without light or gas, and I'm like, damn. So she was, she was crying, dude. She wanted to get home, and I understand that, but you know that they think of their safety too. Like they can just go off road, like. Mm -hmm. So it was it, that. That was. Um, that was not just Joker. That was last yeah. night. Joker okay, but right six. here, <laughs> what, oh, AZ said, uh, what Joker said right here. I mean, Az, sorry. Not only in a in Arizona do they feel that way, but even where my son lives in Idaho, they're like, there's people that legit have signs up. If you're from California, keep driving. We don't want to move. I'm Damn. like, yeah. Yeah. I know my cousin in Oregon. For That's crazy. Place. My cousins in Oregon, they're like, keep going, man. Yeah, they don't that like the Californians. Yeah, I mean. From what I, I asked my son, I'm like, what's up with that? You know what? Mm. He's like, it's not technically they don't like Californians. They don't like them bringing their politics. Mm. If you're willing yeah. to assimilate and, and fit yeah. in with the community and not try to kick up dust, they're fine. Right. But who's yeah. trying to bust that, That's you true. know, certain narrative? You probably think California is a bunch of troublemakers. Yeah. Yeah. If they are. Yeah. <laughs> right? They are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. House. Okay. <laughs> Lisa said she works in Riverside. Okay. Wow. So your work went down. County recorder's office and went down forty five percent. Riverside. Riverside. Wow. Yeah. I believe it. That's crazy. Big D. Big, Big D. D's in the house. Uh, yeah. No. There. There's stores out there too. They're. 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 Uh, Stater Brothers are. Yeah, man. They ran out of food. They're trying to get them trucks up there, but they're like. It's not even gonna help. Where is this at again? Going to Big Bear. Okay. Yeah, hey, it's up in the mountains. You know what I want to do? I'm sorry to interrupt, but I want to congratulate Jen on the passing of the torch here. So I want to congratulate Jen for taking over the round table. Oh, Give Jen yeah. a hand there, man. Thank you, Jen. Yes. For bringing us on here. Yeah. You know, everybody and, and, on the and that's the, the that's the truth. Keep it going. Keep it pushing, Jen. You're doing a good job, man. Thank proud you. of you. Proud Thank of you. you. Yeah, no, it's an honor. It's it's an honor and a privilege, and I'm extremely grateful uh, for the opportunity. Hey, yeah. Not yeah. only that yeah. is we got rid of Hitler. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> Cholo? Um, I love yeah, you, Cholo yeah. Trucker. Just messing with you. I will never <laughs> bad mouth. Hey, <laughs> I actually, I, hey, I actually like Cholo Trucker, but I gave him a big shot. Look at. We gotta live up to that name. Where is he? Where is he at? Should yeah. I put my top on? Oh, yeah. little trucker right there. <laughs> yeah, he's got the little uh, what are those called again? Pop. These are little Funko Pops, but not a little total truck with is the that bigger. Total? Pop I don't know what it is. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. You yeah. know, uh, 
Yeah, but congratulations, Jen, man. I'm happy for you, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, very happy and very grateful. Yeah. And, grateful and we're going to miss Pablo and, and Solo Trucker and yes. you know, all those other people. Some great men, yeah. 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 When it first started, Joe, Big Joe. Sonny. Sonny. Yeah. Yeah, Sonny boys. Definitely miss yeah. Sonny, man. Yes. Yep. Yeah. It's cool to carry on their, their you know, to take the torch, Absolutely. Jen. And, Absolutely. You know? It definitely is. So what do you guys have coming up this week? Any big plans, Denise? Um, You know what? Saturday, Big D's on here too, right? Mm -hmm. Saturday, yeah. I believe it's Saturday at our local uh, Swami here that we got. Diara is going to be, there's like a bunch of bands go there. Okay. You know, different bands go there and Diara is going to be there this weekend. Oh, you're talking about the Santa Fe Swami? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I didn't know if people knew That's about good. Santa Fe Swami. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you have you been there, house? A long time ago, yeah. I used to live there in Norwalk. Don't forget. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> yeah, it's not it's right, right there. Down down the street. Yep. Yeah. Not far yeah. away from there. So yeah, we're having. Don't worry. What? What did Cholo say? All right, let me see. Let me see. <laughs> don't worry. The dictator will be on the round table. I hey, I see, I see that finger coming out, Cholo. I see that finger. I still like laugh with the, the character he has on um, Incredible Javier's. Oh, yeah. The, the yeah. detective? Is that yes. is it Sanchez? Spot it. Spot on. Uh, Vasquez. Uh, detective Vasquez, is it? Vasquez. Or? There you go. Yeah. 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 Most definitely. He'll be on. I'm I'm a Mad Jack on there. Mad oh, Jack. Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> yeah, I can't I can't wait for I that. Can't, I can't wait till the movie. Yeah. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. It's gonna be yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah. Some cool stuff coming what happened out. to Drina? Drina. Oh, by the way, Drina. Okay, Adrian took a phone call, but Drina was in here earlier. Oh. If you guys could Give Drina a subscribe if you're not already subscribed. I highly recommend it. She's almost to her thousand. Oh, nice. So she is a good Christian sister. She's a sweetheart. She gives daily devotionals. You guys go show What's her, 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 her channel? I'll, what? I'll put, I'll send you her link right now. Okay. Jesus, can you hear us, Adrian? I can. Matt? Sorry about that. Okay. It was work related. There she is. Sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, good. You know, Adrina, she kind of resembles my older sister, Jenny. Drina or Adrian? No, I'm not saying you're older than me. Don't get me wrong, hey, but it's, the it's, hair, it's all good. the I'm glasses, proud of it. And, and the features, <laughs> like my sister. <laughs> Aww. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. What I was going to, what, okay, so what are you doing this weekend, Adrian? Any plans, anything exciting going on? Well, I was supposed to, I, you know, this is what happens you? when people like, can you, can you guys hear me? Okay. Yeah. Um, what happens when you forget? So I was supposed, I'm going to can, can you hear her? I can't hear her. Um, can I can hear her. Me? She's just going out like fluttering a little bit. Oh. I, I is, it, is this better? Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going, so I was supposed to go to a service in Stockton this weekend. So I made my plane flight i did all that and mm -hmm. then i found out it's not this weekend it's next weekend oh, so no. oh, wow. that was my that was my intent so i think that this weekend probably more the same what i did last weekend cleaning the mm -hmm. house you yeah. know but i'm gonna if the weather's good i think i'm gonna, we're gonna go probably for a bike for a motorcycle ride and nice. did you have to fly yeah. out there or what but yeah yeah so did you were you able to change all that stuff yeah I just okay. felt like an idiot though, because I was like, you know, I was calling people, pick me up from the airport, blah blah blah, and then I was like, oh shit, okay, oh, so no. yeah, that's a sucky okay. part. Changing though, make, that's good. They make changes on your ticket. Yeah, yeah, they're good. I did it through Southwest. Is usually pretty good about that. We drive out there a lot too, mm -hmm. but it's a long, uh, it's a long. I've done it so many times, and it's like a ten-hour drive. It's it's a long drive. But the good thing about living out here also is we're about four hours, five hours from LA when I oh. lived in, in, in Northern California it was much further. So it's, it's good. Oh, okay. It's close. And then I'm only an hour and 15 minutes. What from Vegas. 
Yeah. And you said it would take me an hour to fly. Yes, Jen. Right? We're going to get Jen to get on a plane and come out and see me. Yeah. Or it's going to happen. I'm going go to go to the and get a, a invite so I can get out there. Saturday. Oh, you know, I only flew in a plane one time, and that was a Cessna from here to Vegas in my uncle's plane. Did and we took really? off Long Beach, and, and it was uh, going over the mountains in the turbulence. Man, it was like, damn, you yeah. know, but yeah. i never been on a jet, and I don't think I plan on to. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the thing. I've been on small planes. I've, I've like, flown all over. I've flown to, like, uh, I think the furthest I went was... Uh, San Juan, and mm -hmm. uh, that was a long flight. If you have Florida, then from Florida there. But yeah. I was telling Jen, it's actually, it's really, I mean, I have a friend of mine that flies to Pennsylvania every weekend, every mm -hmm. single weekend. Mm -hmm. And she's done it for six years. Wow. God bless her. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. If you it's like crazy, it, but it's awesome, though. The yeah. more yeah. you do it, the more, I, this is why I always tell Jen. The more you do it, the better it is because you know what's going on, right? And right. you just know the odds and you know all of that. And and yeah. I just, you know, I'd much rather be there in an hour than nine and a half or ten yeah. Yeah. is exactly. cool with me. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I'm guessing like everything else is like you try it, you know, just do it the first time and then everything mm -hmm. seems easier. Yeah. The yeah. less I did it, the more if I waited a long time in between, like if I fly and I wouldn't fly for a year. It would take me all of that to get my together oh, okay. again. So if I do it all the time, it's fine. But if I wait a long time before I do it, it's not fine. It takes oh. me a minute to get yeah. ready to, you know, do it. Better so. stay adjusted to it and, and keep on yeah. going on. Huh? Yep, that's totally yeah. it. Yeah, I'm going to drop the link real quick if anyone wants to tap in for a few minutes before we we tap out and get back to our, our duties at home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm, uh, I want to show uh, what's the name of the picture I did for my pastor and them. And I went to a dinner Sunday over there. I remember you were I wanted to present him uh, with something because I appreciate him as a pastor. I mean, he's a blessing, you know. I don't know if you can see it, but that's I did it and put it in a frame. He's going to hang it up. Oh, him and his wife. Beautiful. Yeah. That is beautiful. It's blurry, but I don't know if you can see it because of the yeah. phone. Oh, but, yeah. That's beautiful. oh, yeah, that's cool. That's nice. What a blessing. That's really nice. It's pretty big, you know, pretty big yeah. size. Yeah. They love yeah. it. Yeah. How big is that? Like, it's like about as big as these right here. Oh, okay. these right here in the back right here. That's that beautiful one? behind you. That's just yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Oh, that's yeah, neat. Get down, man. I, I love oh, that. Another one. I'll show you. Luke 90. Oh, oh that's beautiful. Yeah, that's I love that. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. That's super cool. That's shading though. Oh, yeah, that's nice. That shading is nice. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, it's cold, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm warm, but then I'm cold. You know, my hands are freezing. <laughs> Do they it's start? Snowing. It's snowing out here. It's snowing. Hey, I saw that video, that short video, <laughs> Mitch. Had like posted. it's been crazy. Oh, like last week, I stayed in town all week instead because I live an hour from where I work. Mm -hmm. And um and so my work was nice enough to put me in a hotel. Um, so wow. I'm only five minutes from work, which is really nice. But it's like I'm like this is crazy. Like there's you know snow yeah. everywhere, and I'm like it's Arizona. No yeah. one told me this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was just telling them how. Yeah, I was never just telling them how. Sorry, go. I would have never thought Arizona and snow, but that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. I was just telling them how it is in Big Bear right now. It's like they they're not letting anybody in or out. The snow is so bad, crazy. Huh. Yeah. yeah, it's the worst blizzard that we've had. Jeez, ever I think. I talked to somebody yesterday in what, Ohio. They said they had they have no snow, and when they usually get Ooh. dumped on every year, they said they they've had freezing rain but no snow. Oh wow, where's that That's at? Weird. Ohio, which they usually get a ton of snow. Yeah. It's weird. Wow. That's crazy. It is. Yeah, it's snowing up there where my son's at too. He sent me a picture and I'm like, uh-uh. That's <laughs> but I'm gonna have to get over it because I have a, a 
grandchild that's due next month. So, oh, Jen, right, that's yeah. exciting. Congratulations, Jen. Yeah, oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Heck yeah. Uh, two two little boys, and then of course my granddaughter. She's already six. Nice. So, whew. Yeah, I'm gonna have to suck it up and fly. <laughs> that's right, Jen. Yeah. Last time I drove there, it took 14 hours. And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, it's I felt that. I felt it. Aww. I mean, if you have the time, it's like we drove to Missouri last uh, when they, you know, did our release from COVID, so to speak. We drove all the way to Missouri, but I had time to take off and we did mm -hmm. like a day, like at least in every state, if not more. Mm -hmm. It was nice. But when you can take your time, it's fine. But when you got to jam and get there and you only have, it's like not the funnest thing in the world, you know? Right. Yeah. I know. Thank you. Oh, what a blessing. That's cool. Yeah. Well, ladies, I want to say good night. And I'm going to go. I'm going to well, sign off now. Thank so, you. Happy I'll yeah. see you next week. And Bye. it's 6 30, right? <laughs> 6 o'clock. <laughs> oh, man. Jeez. Right. 5 45. No, I'm hey, I swear I saw 7 30. <laughs> and I'm like, I said, yeah. why is she doing it later? I, I, and I was wondering, why is she doing it later? But I said, okay. So I was doing what I'm doing, busy in the house and whatever. And then I finally seen it pop up. I'm like, well, wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then I Not couldn't get on. I said, and then I, it was your uh, link was in the junk mail. I don't know why it goes to the junk mail. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, ladies, I want to say good night and Aww. everybody have a blessed night. Nice meeting you, Adriana. Good night. You too. Adrian, Take care. And Denise, bye. And hermana, bye. See you. See you. And God bless everybody in the chat, man. And blessings upon everybody, man. Like I say, spread the love, man. Spread the That's love, right. man. God is good. Right. God is good. That's we'll see right. you guys. Okay, good night. Bye. We'll see ya. Good night. Yeah, I think we're going to tap out too, you guys, because it's getting late. And um, I feel like, it, you know, for the first episode on this channel, anyways, it was. It was Good job, uh, Jen. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. A little rough start. Now you're frozen. The technical <laughs> part okay. down. No, that's okay. That's we always going to happen. We just got to, yeah. you know. I'm so happy that you'll you learn that. Everything will come to you. And yeah. Yep. For sure, I appreciate all of you in the chat that showed love, that we're here, you know, talking Thank amongst you, Vanessa. us. Like, it really means right. a lot. Your support is. Um, oh no, we're all in trouble. Uh oh. <laughs> oh no. Hey, what's going on? Was it going? Where's it about? Over there, no. All right, got you guys on on the back, but I don't want to hear. Uh, <laughs> you guys twice, oh, man. But right? <laughs> yeah, you guys are about to end it. I got it. I just come on. Yeah, to you're too late. <laughs> bye, bye. You gotta go. See you, Tolo. I'm not. I kidding. had you guys. I had you guys on in the background. The room's a mess. We got rid of some furniture, bringing new furniture in. So nice, nice. Okay. Know, That's always good. Yeah, nice. yeah, it always is. But. uh you know what? I just want to give a shout out to everybody on the chat, man. Gracias for coming yeah. on. And uh, Jen, you got this, sister. Um, yes, you do. Yes. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, brother. Uh, yeah. Proud of you. I'm glad that you decided to do it. And uh, keep rocking and rolling, girlfriend. Right. Denise, I have a feeling I'll be seeing you on Saturday. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> I haven't brought it up to the guy yet, but oh, you got to bring him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we got, we got, we got to kick it. We got to kick it. We got to kick it. But uh, with that, I don't want to take up uh, too much of you guys' time. But um, man, say hi to around, Bella. Yeah. Hi. You oh, guys have a good one, and I'll be tapping soon. Thank you, brother. Awesome. Good night. Good night, Bell. Good night, hey, Bell. All right, guys. Well, what is blessing? Yeah. You throw me off. I don't know how to close it. I don't know how to close it. Oh, no. I will, I'll close out right now. No. I just want to let everyone know. I wanted to sort of add at the end here. Um, if you have any prayer requests and you want prayer for anything, you can add, you know, just you don't even have to say what. Just put me in the comments after this live ends. And I am going to start a little prayer chain 
for anyone and everyone that needs it. So if that's you, go ahead, put it in there and, you know, we'll put you on a prayer list. I know I need it so I'm add myself. <laughs> the what? I'm, I said I'm going to add myself even. I need prayer always. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yep. always. I think Adrian had to take a call. So thank you, Adrian. Thank you, House. Thank yeah. you, Denise. You know, you guys are a blessing. Everybody in the chat is a blessing. Like, we could not do this without you guys. So Yes. Thank you Much all. And thank you, Jen. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah. Good night, Salvador. Okay, Hi, you guys. Vanessa. Next Tuesday, six o'clock. Be here. Next, new topics. New topics. You might be surprised. So see you guys next Tuesday. Salvador. Thank you, everyone. Buenas noches. Until next time. See you guys.